So we want to install Bitcoin Core on our Mac. <laughs> um, let's get into how to do this. You might normally come to this download Bitcoin Core website um, and say download Bitcoin Core. That seems like it would be the most obvious thing to do. Um, what happens if we try that? Well, first problem is that I'm in a Mac M1 and it's trying to download the x86 version, which is not going to work. That's an Intel chip. I'm not running an Intel chip, so I'm going to hit cancel. And I'm going to go down to the ARM version and I'm going to download this. Okay, so if I save this, um, I can go ahead and open up the folder it's just in my downloads. If I go ahead and open this up, um, it's going to give me this Bitcoin Core app. This would all be fine and dandy. Um, and I've got another video that will walk through like how to set this up. But this isn't what we want and I'm going to show you why. Um, so if I right click on this and say show package contents, what I'm looking for is an application or like a little tool called Bitcoin D. This one only has something called Bitcoin QT which stands for like the GUI app, which is great, but we're gonna use Bitcoin Core on the terminal. Again, you can use this, we're not going to. Um, great, okay, so I'm gonna hop back to my downloads folder. I'm gonna go ahead and delete both of these. Um, oh, not that, uh, those guys. Great, so let's try again. This time, I'm gonna go to, um, I'm gonna go to github.com slash Bitcoin Bitcoin. We're going to go to scroll down on the right side here. There's a releases tab. This is a great place to find the latest release of any software, but in particular Bitcoin Core. We're on Bitcoin Core version 2.6.0. It released two weeks ago. Um, and so we're going to click into this thing. It brings up, um, basically we're back on the website that we were, but now we're on like a different part of it. It's cool. Okay. Um, okay. So in here, we're going to want three things. We're going to want Shaw sums. Notice it's not nearly as nice looking as the other interface that we looked at, but that's fine. We're going to want ASC. I'm going to make another quick video after this one, after we get it installed, that shows you how to verify that what you've downloaded is the correct thing. Um, but that's not right now. And then I want ARM, and I'm going to want this tar GZ zip thing. So this is different. Last time I got the dot .zip, this time I'm getting the tar .gz. There's a difference. Also, you want the ARM one if you're on the M1 chips. Okay, we're going to save it to downloads. Great. Okay, so it's in downloads. Let's go look at it. We're going to go ahead and open it up. Boom. Da, da, da. Um, okay. So if you go into bin, it's going to have Bitcoin D, which is great. What happens if we try and run it? Um, it's going to say, no, Bitcoin D is damaged. It can't be open. You should move it to trash. I'm not going to move it to the trash. Bitcoin D is not trash. Nice try, Mac. Um, the problem is that this has been marked as, this download has been marked as a invalid like a an untrusted source so we have to do two steps in the terminal to fix this um i'm going to walk you through how to do them um let me hop over to my so i had to find some instructions on the internet there's two things we need to do the first thing we need to do is we need to um code sign it so let me prove to you I'll switch, I'll switch over to my terminal let me prove to you that this um is not signed so if i hang on where am i i'm in I'm in downloads, I can see that here. So I'm gonna go ahead and CD into Bitcoin 26. Um, I'm gonna CD into the bin. I'm gonna try the same thing that we just tried. I'm gonna try version, I'm not gonna run it. I'm just gonna ask for the version. Um, and it says Bitcoin D is damaged, so I'm gonna hit cancel. It kills it. So I have to do two steps. So the first one we can do is we can, um, let's just look at what the code sign stuff looks like. So I do Bitcoin D. Um, you'll notice that the signature is ad hoc, which I'm assuming means in Mac speak, not one that we want to trust. Okay, so first we're gonna give it permission to trust this sign this um, certificate. And I can do that using this really handy thing I found on Stack Overflow, um, Bitcoin D. Uh, okay, so it's not gonna give me any output. Um, I think if I run it again, it's also not gonna work. So let me switch to the full thing, not that. This one, yeah, so you can just see really fast if I try to run Bitcoin D again, it's also gonna fail again. Still malicious, so I'm gonna hit, um, okay. Notice how it's a different thing. First it was like, we're gonna put it in the trash. Now it's like, it's not malicious. Well, it can't be checked if it's malicious or not. Okay, so there's one more thing that we need to do here. Um, it's gonna be X A T R this one. So I'm going to, basically there's an attribute on this file that marked it in quarantine and we just removed it. This D flag means delete it from quarantine. So now if we've done everything correctly, this should just work. 
Um, great. Okay, so we have Bitcoin Core running and it's version 26. I'll include these um, instructions and like a little thing to walk through on how to run it. Um, let's just go ahead and try starting it on RegTest. Um, RegTest. Will that work? Let's see. Yeah, okay, so it's up and running now, which is great. I wanted to show you that you're going to have the exact same problem on basically everything in this folder, um, which is there's a bunch of stuff. So I just tried to run Bitcoin CLI and it wouldn't let me. Um, we really only need Bitcoin D and Bitcoin CLI. So I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to run the exact same thing I just ran. Um, actually, I wonder if I can do no such thing. OK, so if I do Bitcoin CLI, that'll remove it from quarantine. Oh, wait. Okay, the other thing I need to do is try the code sign one. Code sign as Bitcoin CLI. Okay, now can I run it? Great. Okay, so now I have the Bitcoin CLI running and I have Bitcoin Dean running, um, which means that I can do the following. I can do Bitcoin D reg test and then tell it to run in the background. I'm also going to give it a fallback fee for reasons something. Okay. And hit enter. So that should start running Bitcoin core, which is super exciting. And now I can get Bitcoin CLI to talk to it. Have to tell it we're trying to talk to it on reg test. And then we can just give it something like get info and it'll print out some info, which is great. Okay. So we have Bitcoin D running on Mac.